NATO has decided on its roadmap for the future of Afghanistan amid warnings that the process risks tolerating corruption and the power of the warlords for the sake of security. The security situation um, in Afghanistan uh, remains uh, very challenging. The Afghan government is taking more responsibility for running the country. And we are preparing to begin the process of handing over leadership, where conditions allow, back to the Afghan people. The alliance's summit ended last week, but no details were made public of the framework for a handover of security to President Hamid Karzai's forces. The London Independent reports, however, that an area will be deemed ready for transfer if serious violence has been in abeyance for a period of time, if there is access to power by different ethnic and tribal elements, and if the conditions are present for development projects taking place in relative safety. NATO officials stress that the start of the handover will not mean that troops can start to withdraw. NATO Secretary General Anders Foe Rasmussen warned, quote, It will not be a pullout. It will not be a run for the exit. Our soldiers will move into a more supportive role. So it will be a gradual process. This is conditions-based and not calendar-driven. A senior Western diplomat acknowledged that a degree of corruption will necessarily have to be tolerated as long as it does not threaten the security of NATO forces. The diplomat pointed out that the policy of transfers remained uncertain. He said, quote, unless we are saying that we will stay and colonize the country, we can't say everything is irreversible forever and we will probably need to remain in support for several decades. Some Afghan observers pointed out that NATO's seemingly relaxed attitude about corruption was in marked contrast to the public condemnation by the U.S. and British governments of the corruption in President Karzai's government and is linked to warlords. Seed Ali Lakmani, a political analyst based in Kabul, said, quote, There is a big danger that areas will be given over to strong men because they can deliver security for the right side and keep out the Taliban. If the West does not make sure that people do not suffer from corruption in these districts, then there will be a lot of trouble in the future. 